Hey cuties, what's up and welcome back to my Roblox channel. Now before we get going, make sure to like this video, subscribe, and turn on those post notifications. So in today's role playing video, Talking Ben the Dog came to Brookhaven. Mackenzie, what are you doing down here? What are you talking about? I'm making dinner. You're making dinner? Hey, don't seem so surprised, okay? I help out all the time. Oh, and I set the table too, by the way. You set the table? Just sit down, relax, and enjoy the wonderful meal I made for you. Okay. Whoa, what smells so good? Mackenzie made dinner. What? Why does everyone sound so surprised? Come on, Dad, sit down, start eating. So, how's everyone's meals? Okay, Mackenzie, what do you want? <gasps> what are you talking about? I do this nice gesture for my parents, and you think I want something? I am in shock. A girl can't simply make her parents. So what is it, kiddo? Money, a new bike, no more clothes, is it? Fine, I want a pet. <laughs> <laughs> Why? What's so funny? Are we laughing at me getting a pet? Because I can get in on that too. Mackenzie, we've talked about this. You are not old enough or responsible enough to have a pet quite yet. But why? I'm responsible enough to make you dinner. Those are two completely different things. Having a pet is a huge responsibility. Almost like having another child. You need to remember to feed it, take it to the doctor when it gets sick, take care of it. I can do all of that. I'm sorry, Mackenzie, but the answer is no. Oh, man. The next morning. Wow, honey, thanks so much for getting up before me and cleaning the whole house. What are you talking about? I didn't do that. Then who did? You could practically eat off the floor. It's so clean. What's that smell? Do you smell bacon? Good morning, my lovely parents. You two both work so hard, so I thought I would get up super early this morning to clean the whole house. It was looking a bit in shambles. Oh, and I made breakfast too. Oh, and there's a pot of coffee waiting for you over in the kitchen. You're not going to give up until we get you a pet, are you? Nope, but on the plus side, you can get your car waxed today. Fine, fine. Fine, okay. Okay? Yes, you can have a pet, preferably nothing with scales or wings, so like a dog. Yes, you guys are the best parents ever. Moments later. Okay, girly, did you swap your pink drink for some serious caffeine? Because I can swear I can hear your knees bouncing over here. No, I didn't. I am just so excited. For what? What's going on? Okay, I was going to wait till after class to tell you, but I just can't wait anymore. I'm getting a dog. You're getting school today to pick them out. Oh my god, girly, I thought you were getting like a new phone case or something. But a dog? You've always wanted a dog. I know. Will you help me pick the best dog? Uh, duh. You already have the best friend, of course. You're gonna have the best dog, too. One hour later. Wow, I didn't think class was ever gonna end. I know, the one day we really wanted to get out, and it lasts forever. What are you talking about, Sky? You want to get out every single day. Well, yeah. Dog. Fantastic! We have plenty of dogs available for adoption. Follow me and I'll take you to them. All of these are available, so let me know if there's any you'd like to meet up close. Oh, what about this one? I don't know. I don't really feel it, girl. What's the feel, girly? They're dogs. I don't know how to explain it. Hmm. Him! I like him! Him? Yeah. As soon as I saw him, I instantly felt a connection. It's him. He's the one. I want to adopt him. Are you A few moments later. Welcome home, my little baby. Okay, Ben, this is our home. So, let me show you around. This is the kitchen where we eat most of our meals. Don't worry, I'll get your food and water bowl so you have something to eat. Now, come on, let's go upstairs. So, down there is my parents' room and the bathroom. But for you, it's outside, so you don't have to worry about that. Oh, and don't think you can drink out of the toilet bowl, mister. And now, if you 
you follow me, we'll go to my room, which I guess is your room too now. So this is it. I can get you a bed. Or you know what? It might just be easier if you sleep in my bed with me. Cool room. So now the important question is, what is dinner? Uh, I'm uh, sorry. I must have gone way too long without eating today. Because clearly my blood sugar has bottomed to an unhealthy level. And I think I'm hallucinating because I could have sworn you just opened your mouth and words came out of it. Oh, great. Well, if you're going to eat, it's probably a good time for me to eat too. Uh, no, 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 no. You're not talking. Dogs can't talk. Dogs can't talk. Well, you are right about that. Dogs can't actually talk. I guess I've always been a bit of a black sheep. Neither of my parents talked. I'm the first in the family. No, 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 no. This isn't real. Moments later. <laughs> term to throw around lightly and what is insane about me ah, what is that monstrosity get it away from me hey look my hearing is way more sensitive than yours and i don't complain about the way you two are talking what did the shelter give you i don't know but i kind of think we should go back and ask you think later that same evening sorry we're just closing for the day oh it's you two yeah it's us we just have a little complaint because you gave us that sort of talk you be back. Don't say I didn't warn ya. Wait, you knew Ben talk? Are you kidding? He keeps all the dogs awake with his yakking all night. That dog is a chatterbox. Why do you think I tried to warn you? I don't know. Maybe he had like a flea problem or something? Nope, no flea problem. Just very loose lips. Oh, and don't let him watch any sad movies. He cries like a baby. But I mean, he is your problem now. No going back. Not so fast. How about you let Mackenzie pick a different dog? Sorry, no, she signed the adoption papers for him. No backsies. What are you, like five? No, it's okay, Sky. Maybe I just freaked out a little at first. But it's okay. I want to try and give Ben a chance. Are you sure, girly? Yeah, I mean, we did have a connection at first, so who knows? Maybe we'll be good friends. I mean, it's not like everyone has a chance of owning a talking dog. All right, if you say so. Later that night. Look, I'm sorry freaked out earlier. Eh, no problem. I probably could have eased you into it a little better. I'm sorry I scared you. I've never met an animal who talks before. I mean, now that I think about it, it's kind of cool. I've always thought so. There seems to be a lot of movies about the subject. So, how are we supposed to make this work? Make what work? I'm your dog, Mackenzie. All I want to do is be your best friend. My only desire is to just make you feel happy and love. Really? That's all you want? Here's something you should know about dogs. While we may only be a small part of your life, you'll be my entire life. That's all we ever want is to make you happy. There's really no love like a dog has for his owner. It's unconditional. Wow, I never thought about that. I love you too, Ben. I hope you know that. Oh, well, thanks. And you know, having a talking dog can be quite fun. What do you mean? Well, bring me to school tomorrow and I'll show you. The next day. All right, what's our cover story? Remember, I'm just bringing you here for show and tell. So as everyone else knows, you're a nice, normal, non-talking dog. Woof. You really got to work on that. It sounds way too human-like. <laughs> Much better. All right, now let's do this. Who's a good dog? Don't pay patronize me. Shh. Hey, Mackenzie, cool dog. Is that yours? Oh, uh, hi, Josh. Uh, yeah, this is Ben. He's my new dog. I just got him. Oh, that's awesome. I love dogs. They're the best. You are so lucky, and he's adorable. Thanks. You know, you can take him for a walk one time if you like. Really? Oh, my God, I'd love to. Thanks, Mackenzie. Come on, Ben. Let's go. Okay, girly. I have, like, so many questions. Starting with, how come you brought your talking dog to school after practically peeing in your pants yesterday when he talked for the first time? Uh, do you think you could keep your voice down, please? I just don't get it. Help a girl out here. There's nothing to understand. He's just with Josh. And? He's with Josh. Oh, say no more. A lot of boring math later. Okay, Ben. Spill the tea. You just had an hour walk with 
with Josh. So you need to tell me everything he said. All right. How much do you want to know? And it'll cost you a milk bowl. Deal. Now spill. Well, first off, Josh and his friends have this sort of burping competition going on. Okay, I changed my mind. Maybe I don't want to know everything. You can just get past that part. Oh, you want the part where he said he liked you? He said he liked me? Yeah, he brought me over to meet his friends, and he said that you were really cool, and he liked you. One of his friends told him he should ask you out. Yeah! Ben, you are so right. Having a talking dog is awesome. I told you. Sorry for freaking out about it at the beginning. That was totally wrong. Yeah, and now that we're all on board with this whole talking thing, 